Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ksenia and today I'm going to take you through the really quick tutorial about Malasana pose or yogi squat. And I want just to explain you some secret tips uh, how you can support your body in this pose and what poses can really help you on the way to support Malasana squat. So let's jump into the practice. We will start from Malasana pose by itself and then step by step we will uh, go in some modifications and more helpful positions uh, for us. So usually there are actually two approaches that you can experience and sometimes actually one approach can work for you, for you and another probably will be more difficult. Uh, in Vinyasa flow when we do Malasana squat we usually go into the pose from some top position. So if you are for example in standing pose you spread your feet nice distance apart on your shoulders then you open the knees on the sides and maximum as low as you can your drop and your sitting bones down so practically uh, what we want to experience here that our feet and knees they look in the same direction so if you're opening maximum wide your feet on the sides then your knees should follow this move yeah so it's like the same connection here of knee direction and feet and if you a bit closing them the same principle they look 45 degrees then you are blocking yourself from inner side with the elbows and practically that's it but the biggest mistake what usually people do here they roll the back and you can see that this is the first struggling that can happen here we want to keep our back straight here so to lengthen our spine neck and head to the sky at the same time dropping our sitting bones down and lengthening the spine yeah? so malasana squat is really really nice pose to work with your first three chakras but uh, practically it works with all chakras because you need to hold your shoulders open chest zone open you're blocking yourself from inner side here and lengthening your neck and head if you're struggling to do malasana squat immediately from the top and jump into the squat bring your sitting bones all the way down immediately please don't skip this pose but just try a different approach from the bottom so just uh, remember that many poses we can do from the top and from the bottom so if you cannot jump from the top you just start from a sitting position and as you see my heels are not touching the ground still now and i'm moving around in my back so it's just very comfortable position to start from and then from here i start accurate checking my level to open knees on the sides and my feet follow the knees so maybe a little bit more wide distance apart yeah. it's really nice if you will bring your heels still on the level of your shoulders and from here you already start to drop your heels down as low as you can and bring 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 yourself deeper into the squat so two ways how to do this pose from the top and from the bottom malasana pose is really beneficial when you're sitting a lot and practically we all sit a lot watching tv set or working on computer or any any sitting position we collect a lot of blood pressure in our sitting bones and lower part of the back so we want to get really deep relief with this squat what can be helpful in this pose if you cannot hold this pose and you feel that it's too much for lower part of the back or something happening on the way that uh, really feels not good that you feel big resistance in this pose there are three points uh, about what you should think in this pose and usually people struggle in exactly these three spots so first uh, level it's your feet they should be grounded so as you see my feet and heels completely grounded and on the floor sometimes and it's totally normal people cannot bring till the end the heels and you can struggle somewhere here on the way that means that your feet and maybe ankles not so stretched here yeah so you need in this case to use the blanket or the towel so you just pat under your heels and bring this modification for this pose the second level can be knee problem so when you're struggling and you feel pressure on the knees it says usually uh, also about connection with your hip zone and that you don't really feel comfortable with the lower part of the back and that's why you start to give more pressure on the knees as you see when you length your spine you really want to drop your sitting bones down and like this you're holding pose not just with the shoulders elbows and chest zone but you're really hold the pose with the inner tight buttocks and all body is engaged here so i advise you as the second step to use always the block under your sitting bones especially it's very very beneficial when you hold this pose long period of time like in yin yoga yeah? when your hips will be ready when you will be ready you will start step by step maybe for a moment to take out the block maybe for longer period of time and so on any side is good so choose the side of the block when it feels comfortable and you feel really good support for all part of the back 
So this is some modifications that can help. And how to improve this pose and how just to jump into this pose if you feel that this hip opening is something that you would like to do, but uh, you are someone the way, what can help? So practically think about all poses, similar poses that can do the same position for your hips. First of all, it's all lunges. Yeah? And I would advise you to start from one side opening. So all kind of lunges when you bring your feet a little bit outside of the center line. Lizard pose. Yeah? You step outside of your hands. And here you can also to press away, to push away, to place feet aside and to open our hip pocket here. Yeah? So not necessary to work at the same time with two sides. Maybe it's too much for your body. Do it step by step. One side and then another one. Then all poses that is similar to this hip opening and knee opening. Balasana position, but we want to implement here a wide leg child position. So you want not to keep your knees straight ahead, but you want to open them maximum on the side. You see that position is very, very similar. We are closing the feet and bring it sitting bones all the way down or somewhere on the way. Reaching out with the arms, chest moving all the way down and holding breathing. So in Balasana position, you can really control your hip opening and knee opening with support from the earth. Third pose that is really beneficial in this case for lower part of the back and opening of your hips. It's child position, but child position should be in more intensive modification. So just not just relaxing position. You open the knees on the sides, grabbing your feet, keeping shin almost 90 degrees towards your hips. You want to press down through the feet, maximum breathing, lower your knees to the ground. So this is the move that will help you to open your hips deeper. And the most intensive pose that can also help in your practice with Malasana squat is froggy position. But by itself, froggy pose is also pretty intensive pose. So you might need even maybe two blocks for this position. You can place them like support on the zone of your low part of the belly and chest zone. And I really recommend to do a froggy position on the smooth floor. And then you will be naturally step by step opening yourself into this pose. So you want to bring yourself from tabletop position, open maximum knees on the sides. I don't have smooth floor, so I will not go deep now here. And then we want to bring our feet outside of the knees line. So you want to bring your feet into the froggy feet. And from here, shake, shake, shake. And if you're on the smooth floor, you can bring your chest lower. And uh, the most important part here to keep our hips on the line of our knees. So this is very squared position. And relax and breathe in. So if you feel in this position that it's a little bit heavy for the lower part of the back, you need support. Don't hesitate to use it. Block here, maybe blanket under your chest and hold a couple of minutes. Some more deeper modification of my lesson squat is when you fix your right or left side, blocking yourself from inner side. Then you're reaching out, looking to the sky, maybe, maybe gazing in front of you and holding breathing. Even if you feel that you're a little bit more intensive now on the right side, on the right hip, uh, you still want to keep your left knee open and your hip zone is still open here. Yeah? So you should not close the knees, you should not flex the feet or curve your left uh, zone in any way. And then changing the side blocking yourself from the left side reaching out with the right hand looking at the sky and if you feel already comfortable with this position you can go deeper to hug yourself and for this we want to go with the shoulder and armpit as low as you can here so first like digging down hug your knees on bring your supportive arm behind block and if it feels okay again looking above or gaze in front of you so always care about your neck zone and still we keep eye on our opposite knee we don't close this zone yeah. so this is modification of malasana squat one more intensive pose but and that also works perfectly uh, a supportive pose of malasana squat is kandasana when you block yourself from inner side and you can even bring your weight a little bit to the front and your arms and you start to reach 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 out from I will start on the right side. So I will reach out with the left leg outside, toes on you, and maximum load drop and you sit in bones again down. And the same principle, we want to open our chest, shoulder zone. We want to keep our spine still straight and lengthening ourselves. We don't want to roll and squeeze here. Again, if it's too much, you use the block. Sitting on the block, holding breath in here. And the last pose that connects all poses in one, I would say, it's wide leg opening. Yeah. So 
In the same principle, you open your legs on the sides, you're checking your knees on, and if it's already something that you don't like in your hips on, or something is too much for lower part of the back, you bring yourself on the block. And here is just step by step. So you bring yourself to the front, you feel a little bit pressure, stretch, and then you just walk in with the hands, reaching out as far as you can, as low as you can. So if you feel that it's getting too intensive, you just fix yourself on the level of pleasurable pain. Pleasurable pain is the level 5-6 out of 10. You will hold malasana squat 5-10 minutes per day and you're really struggling with your sitting bones, with the blood pressure there. You will see how it's beneficial for your body and you will get just amazing results in two weeks. Yeah, so I encourage you to do it on a daily basis. Thank you, yogis, for joining for this tutorial. I hope it was beneficial and useful for you. If you would like to see specific poses and some tutorials, please let me know in the comments and uh, please subscribe it really helps to support the channel and free yoga on the internet hit the bell button because then you will be notified about my new classes and i put them every single week on youtube so see you next time see you on the mat thank you namaste